What's up guys, today I just wanted to show you a couple of things. I've just set up a really basic station for uh, building new ones. And in the process I decided to take a quick look at the way people have done their, uh, their lifts over time. So like in the beginning we had, well just jumping from platform to platform I guess, but if you check this out, this is the Plex lifter. Hit this button. And as you can see, it makes us a nice platform and it's going to take us all the way up. And you simply step off when you get to the floor. Uh, and then you'd use gravity to drop back down. The way this is done is using flex lifters in a big L shape. Now, you don't have to do it like that. But the basic thing is you make an L at the bottom, like so. And then whenever you touch one of them, like that, follow the shape that you want. And like I say, that was pretty cool, but sometimes they glitch out and they only work on stations. They're really good though. So there's the Plex lifter. And then uh, there's obviously gravity elevators that just shoot you up in the air. But um, right here we've got this, the new the new fandanglement which is can I actually get back the plex no the rail elevator which takes us up and that's awesome so you know really basic workings are back here what we have god it's dark here all of a sudden what we have is the rail with the rail dock going up and down the, the back, so you'd hide all this away. Um, so there you have the rail that goes up and down. We have a flip flop. One, this flip flop is attached to the up setting. This button is attached to all the rails. And then the down is attached to those rails. And the knot comes off the flip flop and into this button here. So to show you the linkings, that button's coming from wherever, the car with wireless, or in this case, the post. And flip, flip goes into the button, and the knot, knot goes into the button, and that's uh, that's your wrap. So if I hit this, it'll send the but it'll send the rail up. Like I say, a flip-flop will alternate. And that's just a simple one position down, one position up. There's a lot more you can do with this. So me and the guys were messing about. And we came up with this. Now, this thing, it looks like it didn't save right, but let's have a look. Okay, so there's the workings. Now this is where we get a little bit in, a little bit interesting. If I just push this back, it should set the rails. There we go to go back. There we go. Now let's show you the links. So you can see here the middle rail is set to stop. It will stop when it gets there. So if I hit, whoa, I'm on doors here. So if I hit C, you can see that all the rails are set to go left when I hit this button, right when I hit this button, stop will stop that rail only, turn will turn that into this, I'll show you now. See it will change into that one, and then we've got the anti-clockwise there to turn it back the other way. And obviously that's connected to that rail. So there you go. Um, and then we've got a couple of things going on here. What happens is when this is sent across, it triggers this. And this sensor triggers a timer. First action it does is it changes the block to a, a rotator. And then after half a second, it pulses the rotator again 
and then after half a second it pulses it changes it into a opposite rotation and then after half a second it changes the rail into a forward okay then it's going to go over this which is going to set off this timer and the timer turns the middle rail into a rotator and then it turns back and it rotates the opposite way and then finally sends the rail on its way back this way where of course it hits that one again which tells it to stop the first action tells it to stop or it was obviously I didn't do that on the way back <laughs> anyway what you get from all of that is this oh got to actually get in there and oh. ah actually go come on lag on the server today there we go it's moving turn, it's going to turn and it's going to send away turn, and I did the same thing over there but on a shorter track to show you what's going on I cover up all of the wiring now with a plex door you get this machinery here Which, like I say, stuff you can do with these rails. Like I say, just to see the uh, workings doing their thing right now. And, uh, you know, I wish I'd known about this from day one because it would have made a lot of the builds I've done far more simple and easier to copy by by players and improve. But, you know. But I like the way that works. So that's really cool. Um... And that's pretty much all I had to say. I mean, this is a basic base, so it's got a lot of storage for me to put stuff in. Lights to indicate that I'm using those storages. Faction block, shot block, build block. Uh, we've got a plexon detonator floating over the Y holes here. We've got medical bays just here. Two advanced factories. Um, a capsule refinery, micro assembler, basic factory, two standard factories and then underneath is all the enhancers and the power and then I can both sides. I haven't finished yet. I got a bit carried away making these different types of elevators for fun. Um, to be honest I think that even though there's a lot more wiring involved in than gravity elevators or the uh, old plex lift these are a really good or really original whoop, and awesome addition to the game. It's been really awesome to see what people have come up with. These 45 on 45. It's amazing. We never thought that we'd be able to do that as well. I guess. It's a bit of a shame that on a big multiplayer server you get this lag issue where it's like it only moves one block at a time. Because in single player you get a smooth, totally smooth animation. Um, but I guess that's just the way it is. So I'm going to go chill in my wire holes and leave you to it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.